Augusta has produced its share of remarkable people, and one of the most remarkable was born in a house that once stood here at the corner of 4th and Ellis. Her name, Emma Service Lester. Emma Lester was a remarkable child from a remarkable family. Her mother, Martha Lester, was one of Augusta's most successful teachers at the turn of the previous century, active in city mission work. She was so revered for her selfless teaching of poor mill children in the Harrisburg area that they later named a school for her. Then there was Emma's older sister, Julia Lester Dillon, one of the foremost female landscape architects in America in the early 1900s. She is credited with giving Augusta its Garden City name. Emma's brother, Ben Lester Jr., grew up to become Augusta Postmaster. And then there was Emma, who grew up as a committed young Methodist at St. James Church, half a block from her house, and then started out to be a teacher, much like her mother. But things changed. She felt committed to become a missionary to China. It was not the safest of career moves. This was around the time of the Chinese Boxer Rebellion, a time in which 200 Christian missionaries were killed. Still, she went to China and stayed there for a quarter of a century. In China, she would teach some of the most influential people in the Far East. One was a young girl who became Madame Chiang Kai-shek. She invited Emma to her December 1st, 1927 wedding to her country's leader, General Chiang Kai-shek. A biography about Madame Chiang in later years relates how she spoke to diplomats in flawless English, but with a, quote, Georgia accent. In midlife, Emma Lester would meet and marry college professor Louis Chase. They lived in New York and Washington and shared a love of literature. Chase was a prolific letter writer who corresponded with the leading authors of his day, including Robert Frost, Thomas Hardy, Conrad Aiken, and Edna St. Vincent Millay. After he died, Emma donated his letters and his correspondence to the Library of Congress. A catalog of their contents is about an inch thick. Lester lived her later years in Washington, where she was a family friend of North Carolina Senator Sam Irvin. He gained fame during the Watergate hearings. Emma Service Lester Chase died in 1978 at age 95. Her chronicle obituary mentions her years of service as a missionary, and it also mentions her affiliation with St. James United Methodist Church, which started a Sunday school class after her more than 100 years ago. It's a class that still meets. Emma Lester was buried next to her husband in Mount Hope Cemetery in Rochester, New York, near the graves of Susan B. Anthony and Frederick Douglass. Such would seem a fitting finale for a woman born on Augusta Zella Street who went on to teach Madame Chiang Kai-shek, edit the letters of Robert Frost, befriend Watergate Senator Sam Irvin, and end up being buried near America's first great advocates for the rights of women and minorities. We're all touched by history. Emma Lester touched it back.